Good evening, hello, and welcome to tonight's very special organ recital for Christmas and for the release of Piotr Grodowski's latest organ, um, the organ to appear in uh, the, the Anna Kirche in um, Duren, which is over in Western Germany, which is not too far from Cologne. Well, tonight we're going to uh, explore every single stop, and I do mean every single stop, uh, through uh, repertoire, through music, and I will also give you an overview of the interface and uh, some demos of the stops themselves. In Dolce Jubilo started us off tonight there by Bach, um, and then we're going to go into another piece by Bach, which actually allows us, just, us to step into Advent, because we are actually theoretically in Advent still. So, Wachite auf uns die Stimme, Stimme is uh, the next piece, again by Bach, and if I press General 2, these are the stops. Sorry, these are the stops I'm going to be using. I said I pressed the wrong button. If I press single jam there. So, look at this. I'm using on the pedal 16, 8, and 8. On the Ruck Positive, which is the choir, I'll be using the cornet. Um, and then on the swell, I'll be using the trumpet harmonique. Let's have a listen to this. I'll chat more about the interface after this ditty.
It's one of my favourite pieces of um, Christmassy, adventy music, that chorale. It's just stunning, isn't it? Hope you've all got your Christmas jumpers on. I've got Datsuns. What are these? Got a Whippet. The Whippet there. Poodle. Another Poodle. Is that a Pug? <laughs> Hope you've all got your Christmas jumpers on. Let me know in the chat who's wearing their Christmas jumper. Right, so Bach started us off. We're actually now going to have a small number of English pieces um, just to, I think, demonstrate the, the English pieces, but actually in sort of some, some of them are in the French style. But the flutes, the diapasons, the anche, or the reeds on the swell. And just to show you how versatile this organ is, uh, if I go to overview, um, let's have a look at some of these uh, tabs. So, the very first tab that we have is an overview of the console, obviously, and it's um, responsive, so the swell pedal responds to my feet, uh, the toe uh, couplers are responsive as well, um, and then the stops are responsive, they light up, which is they're very, very neat. So left jam, you have all of the pedal and the um, Hauptwerk stops. And then over on the right hand side, you have uh, the swell and then the choir or the rook positive. One of the great things about Piazza's organs is the sounds. Listen to this. Oh, that's so satisfying. On the next um, tab, we have my favorite screen. I mean, I, I always use this screen, to be honest. I just think, I just, uh, all, all, all organs that I have, I always just go straight for the simple screen. Um, it's really neat. It's also got a crescendo. So on the next tab, if you have a, a desire to use a crescendo pedal, which I don't, you can set it up uh, there. I don't, I don't use crescendo pedals. They always catch me out. Always catch me out. And the next page is the settings. Uh, so you can see what I've got. Uh, the close is on 100. And then as we actually go into the rear of the building, uh, we actually quieten it down. Even so, it is still quite reverberant. So that's nice. Um, and then the detuning, I've got uh, 18 on the reeds, 18%, and then 25% on the flues, so which um, actually doesn't, doesn't sound very out of tune at all. It sounds very in tune still. And then over on the um, final tab, there's a nice picture of the church itself. I think you'll all agree that it is one of the most square organs, I think, in the world. <laughs> so my thumbnail actually has um, the text curved, um, just to give <laughs> a, a bit of a joke, really, against the, um, the squareness of the instrument. Let's try this. Let's try this. In Dir ist Freude by JSB.
That is the plenum on this organ. So mixtures all over the place. Let's have a look. So mixtures uh, down on uh, the, the positive, as you can see, there it is. Uh, and then the mixtures on the, um, uh, the Hauptwerk there. And then with the, the uh, two and two thirds. And then on the, uh, over on the swell as well, the mixtures all brought together. Uh, bounce a little bit. Uh, all brought together to create that really wonderful bark sound. Um, obviously coupled onto the Hauptwerk there. Um, well, I'm really enjoying this organ, really, really enjoying this organ. And I'm very privileged, actually, that Piot has uh, agreed to allow me to be one of his uh, resellers. So here in the UK, if you want to buy this organ, you can't buy it uh, from Piot's website. And that's uh, due to complicated tax and VAT reasons. Uh, so, as I am an Englishman, and as I am in the UK, you can buy it now from the BIS shop. Yay! Uh, so if you go to beautyandsound.co.uk um, and you can find them on there. Over time, I'll be adding all of Piot's uh, organs to the website. Um, but you can't buy it yet. Well, you can, but you won't get it until later in the stream. Piot will release the organ later on. Let's now have something German because we are, well, we've had Bach, of course, but let's have something else German. Um, something by Max Regar. Weihnachten. Basically, it's Christmas. So this is based on Christmas themes. There's a few themes in here which um, are largely unknown here in England, I must confess. <laughs> um, but there's a... Um, I'm sure people will be able to identify them as we go through it. It's, there's a few... Well, I can tell you, there's one, um, two... Three, four, there's at least four carols in this, or Christmas tunes. The final two you will definitely know. Uh, the first two you may not. Someone in the chat may want to write what the um, tunes are rather than me saying them. So I'm on number 21. It starts very quietly, very quietly, very mysteriously. With the, I'm, I'm going to have a bit of rumble on the 32 foot flu, and then the um, 16 on the swell as well. So it starts very quietly, but. Rager being Rager, it gets louder and louder and louder towards the middle before dying down to very quiet once again. So Weihnachten by Max, Max Rager.
Do we all get the tunes? The Von Himmelhoch at the end, um, Stille Nacht at the end as well, and a couple of others uh, before that. <clears throat> now, how are you all finding the organ? Are you all finding it okay? Are you all enjoying it? <coughs> so this next piece I'm going to play is by Buxus Huda, um, and it is be I'm playing it because, well, because I'm trying to use every single stop in this recital. So I'm, I'm, I'm basically picking repertoire um, that shows off every single stop. So this next piece, five press number four, uh, I'm using the cornet on the um, on the on the uh, great or the house work, and on the swell. I'm using the 16 and 8 foot flutes played up the octave um, along with the uh, 16 and 8 on the pedal. I have to remember to play up the octave, otherwise it'll sound a bit muddy and a bit murky. So, which camera shall I use? Let's use this one over here, the Buxtehuda. A very short ditty, which you, um, some of you would have heard at Blackburn Cathedral recently. Uh, John Hosking played that on the organ in Blackburn. So the corner there, just by itself, uh, which actually instantly, instantly goes down to C, I think. Yep, yeah, it's down to middle C. Before it runs out. And I didn't have anything else with it. It doesn't need um, an eight foot flute with it, because it actually has it in the disposition. Beautiful stop. Have you noticed when I put on the um, stops screen, uh, it actually has a lot of um, beautiful flutes. So there's a beautiful flute harmonique on the great or the or the Hauptwerk. Big flutes on the swell. Look, so this this four foot. And an eight foot as well. Big big, big eight foot. And to, to, those two together really make a nice sound. And the reeds up here, um, very fiery. And the Vox Imana on the choir and the cromhorn on the choir, which you will hear later. So let's now have our final piece, uh, which brings everything together. This is a bit of a loud one. So luckily, I think the audio has uh, sorted itself out. That's really, really irritating, actually, and I can't really quite focus my mind now because I don't like it when things go wrong. Uh, so if you've stuck with me, thank you very much. Um, if you've turned off because of the audio issues, boo to you. Um, but I'm very grateful to everyone who has uh, stayed with me. Um, and I'm just sorry for those people who um, watch this on catch up and think, what on earth is this? Um, but hopefully they'll stick with it and fast forward. So next one is um, Von Himmelhoch. Uh, this is a, a Takata prelude by Garth 
Edmondson. A bit of one-hit wonder, I think. Does anyone else know anything by this chap, Garth Edmondson? Let's have a listen to a Toccata on this um, terrific organ.
I glanced up at the screen when 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 I was on the um, stops screen, I noticed that there's a stop cut off the um, that uh, that screen. But look on this screen, there it is, the shamard at the bottom of that grate. So you heard for the first time in that piece the shamard. There it is. And actually, um, I've, I'm using the Rotterdam trompetta de Batella stop because I haven't really got a shamard stop. But there it is. You heard that for the first time. Um, Piot announced it sounding in the chat, actually. Yeah, there it is. Piot was on it's, it. It's a really useful <laughs> stop, actually. <laughs> so I had that with the, um, the other great reads as well. Right, so I think this organ is very, very nearly available to purchase. So you can go to Piot's website. I think you all know what um, his website is. Or if you're here in the UK, um, you can buy it from me uh, because you can't buy it from Piot if you're here in the UK. So you can go to BIS, um, Beauty and Sound, or UK, and uh, have a look on there for sample sets and, and get it. It's well, well, well worth um, um, checking out because it generally does a lot really, really well, as you've heard tonight. Strings, flutes, diapasons, uh, big reeds, it has, a, it has it all. And actually, in a surprisingly um, um, generous acoustic as well, of course. Uh, looking at the organ, the squareness of it makes you think, mm, doesn't look like much. But it's like, it's a perfect example of don't judge an organ by its cover, by its case, because uh, it has a lot to give. The person who designed that case probably thinks it's his finest work or her finest work. must be work. a reason why it was designed like that. Well, it's in sympathy with the church, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, well, I'm going to play one more piece. Or maybe the, there were budget constraints, because not everybody maybe. can afford an elaborate case. Yeah, but it replaced another organ. It okay. did replace an organ. So now we arrive to the cheeky encore, and this is a very cheeky encore. Uh, as I'm playing this, this will give Piotr time to update his website and um, get it for sale. This is Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson, arranged here by Thomas Trotter. And by the way, I am literally going to use every stop in this piece. So if I get myself into a bit of a, in a muddle, it's because I'm using quite a few generals and my arms are going in different directions. Uh, but I am using all the stops on this in, uh, on, for this piece. So perhaps we could have it on the stops screen. Although, of course, the ship. Can you pass me that key? No, in fact, can you just. If I. Could you just press the Alt key on that keyboard? Right, there we go. So now you can see the Shamard here. <laughs> Slay Ride by Leroy Anderson.
go. So that was the sleigh ride there by Lee Riders and arranged for organ by Thomas Trotter. I do hope that you've enjoyed this recital. Sorry about the glitches earlier on. And thank you very much to everyone who's um, stuck with me. Uh, but regardless of those glitches, I think that that is a pretty comprehensive overview of this instrument. You have heard now every single stop on this organ uh, played uh, at various points in the recital in, in pieces. You've heard the mutations, you've heard the cornet, which is a mutation, uh, the great reeds, the swell reeds, the pedal reeds, the strings, you've heard it all. Um, and the music tonight was chosen specifically with that in mind. So I think Piazza's done a very, very good job on this organ. And um, I, actually, I, I actually need to revisit some of his more recent organs like Goch uh, and um, other ones like that, because that, Piazza's doing really great things with his organs. Um, they're really, really clear and sound really, really good. I think, I think this one is his best. And actually it has um, a lively wind system. So the, the real organ uh, actually has a bit of a, a fluctuation in the wind. So this organ, um, if you play sort of chords on the planum, uh, you can sort of hear the wind sort of sagging a little bit, which is very authentic, of course. And of course, Piazza's organs have all of the, the wonderful sound effects for the stops. So here we go. I love that. I love that. And one thing I have done, Piazza, actually, I've turned down the, um, the swell box shutter noise because I found that a little bit too loud. But hey, that's one of the great things about Hauptwerk is you can change um, the organ to exactly ha as you want it. What does the voix zoom in sound like with the tremulant? What about the chromo on the tremulant? <laughs> cool. Well, there we go. So, is the organ available? Has someone said it's available yet? Uh, I don't think uh, Piot is the organ available. Well, let's hope it is. If you if it is available, I say go and buy it. It's, it's well priced, and it sounds fantastic. From BeautyandSound.co.uk, if you're here in England. Um, or, well, you can buy it from my website from anywhere in the world. Um, but you can only buy it, uh, you, you can't buy it from Piot if you're here in the UK. And of course, you can buy it from Piot's website if you're not here in the UK. So, I think we should end it there. Tomorrow night will be Virtual Church with a very, very special guest. A very special guest tomorrow night. Uh, Jerry Martin is joining me on the organ bench tomorrow. We're going to have fun. We're gonna it's for sale. Piot we... has confirmed. Yay, it's for sale. Well done. So, People should go now, now go and buy it. So thank you very much, Roger, for your tip. That's very kind. Um, a, a, an ice cube in the tip jar there. <laughs> and Jim as well for your 10. Thank you very much. Um, let me just look, if I, is there anyone else? Who, oh, Paul O'Reilly, thank you very much for your 1999. That's very kind. Um, Riley was wearing her collar with bells on, specially for the occasion. Yeah. So, um, Roger would like to know if you've ever played a theatre organ, Roger Nightingale. I have not ever played a theatre organ. He no, thinks no. that you should because he thinks that you secretly enjoyed I, that, that sleigh ride I didn't, too wasn't, much. It wasn't a secret. No? I, I, I did enjoy that <laughs> sleigh ride. It's just not really my sort of style. Uh, it's not where my experience is. So, there we go. So then, uh, go and buy it if you, if you want. Tomorrow night, virtual show at 8 o'clock um, with Jerry Martin. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, bring your Christmas jumpers. It's going to be one of those sorts of evenings, I think. Lots of um, party, party games, drinking games. Party games. <laughs> Hugo will be leading those. Yeah. All right, guys. You take care, everyone. You stay safe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheerio. Goodbye.